Okay, in this video I'm going to talk to you all about how to export a citation into your RefWorks account. So the RefWorks account creates a bibliography or works cited list for you based on the citations that you've put into that account. Um, and you can do it two ways. You can enter citations by hand in that account. So if you have a book that you're using for your research, you can go into your RefWorks account and type in the publisher or type in the author and type in all that information you need to cite a book and do it manually, and that's fine. But if you're using the databases, there's an easier way to get that information into RefWorks, and that's what I want to show you today. So if you're in a database like Academic Search Premier, which we've been working in a lot, so I'm going to just stick to that one, it's pretty easy to export your citations. So if you do a quick keyword search, I'm just going to stick with organic farming. You click on search, and you'll get your set of results. Let's say you like this first one. You can open it up. And over on the right hand side, there's an option that says export. Click on that and it gives you all these different options um, for exporting the citation. So different programs, different styles, um, and RefWorks is right here on the bottom. So you want to click direct export to RefWorks and then click on save. Okay, and that will open up your RefWorks account. I'm already signed in. It may ask you to sign into your account. You have to have one of these set up before you can actually export anything into it. But if you're already signed into the account, it'll just open your account up in a new page. You can click on View Last Imported Folder, and it'll take you to the folder where um, your most recent citations go. So we just put this one in. So that's why we just have one in this last imported folder. Now I can click on it and add it to my folder for organic farming that I've already made. And I have a couple other sources in there already. Okay, so once it gets added there, it takes a minute sometimes. But we'll see the number on the right-hand side here change from 2 to 3. And then we can create a works cited list from there. Why don't we click into that folder while we're waiting. Okay, so now we can see we have all three sources in this folder. So if that was all we needed, if that was all the sources that we used for our paper or our research, we could then create our works cited list. So the way that we do that is to click on Create Bibliography up at the top of the page. Okay, and then you need to choose your output style. Right, I'm going to stick with MLA 7th edition. You can choose whatever you're more comfortable with. You can choose your file type. I'm going to stick with HTML. And then in the field that says references to include, you want to make sure that you just pick the one folder you want to work from. So I'm going to pick organic farming and then click create bibliography. And it takes a couple seconds usually to put it all together. But once it's done, this is what you'll get. And then you can just copy and paste it into your paper, whatever you're using, and you're all ready to go. So it's a pretty easy process. Um, again, Academic Search Premier is probably the easiest place to do this from, but a lot of the other databases offer you similar options. So if you're in a database and you're not quite sure how the export function works, let me know and we can go over that. Um, but I think mostly we'll be working in Academic Search Premier, so it should be pretty straightforward.